Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to be reviewing the movie SAS Red Notice or SAS Rise of the Black Swan as it was called on Netflix. So I don't really know why it has a different title on here, but it's it's the same movie I watched. So I don't really understand why they called it something different on here. It seems to kind of make really no sense, but I mean, I guess it is what it is. <clears throat> I'm not really sure why they didn't have, like, the original title or whatever. Or maybe it just has been changed recently and I didn't know. Or, yeah. It seems kind of weird that it has a very different title from what is on Netflix. But anyway. Uh, so this movie <clears throat> is starring Sam Hewen. Ruby Rose, uh, Andy Serkis, Hannah John Karam, Tom Hooper, and I guess that's pretty much the main cast, I would say. Uh, oh, and Tom Wilkinson, and who was her brother? I think it might have been Owain Eumann who played her brother. Yeah, Oliver Lewis, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> this movie is about these... I guess, yeah, I'm not really sure. It says it says they were criminals, but I don't really think... Well, I mean, I guess they would have been criminals after they did what they did for this pipeline to keep going through um, this village. They ended up killing the men and the children... The, yeah, the men and the boys and left the women alive uh, to, I guess, spread the fear so that this pipeline could continue on. Uh, being constructed, obviously, um, from England, I believe, to Paris, I think was the... Or at least that's where the train was headed, was from England to Paris. And it stops in the... They end up stopping the train, Grace and her crew end up stopping the train in the English Channel. Um, so the subway system, um, yeah, they end up stopping it and then hijacking the train in order to, <coughs> um, I guess, kind of... Yeah, what, what is it? Distract from their actual mission, which is to blow up the pipeline and stop the pipeline from even being constructed the rest of the way. Because after they find out what's going down um, and how corrupt the company is that's building the pipeline and who's behind everything. And obviously after her father getting killed, she wants to go out and get her revenge. But then they have this former... Uh, yeah, this former SAS soldier that kind of definitely ruins their day. Um, so Tom, Tom Buckingham and his wife. So he's an SAS soldier and he's trying to get out of the business, I guess. Um, it seems like he, seems like he probably maybe wants to retire or at least <clears throat> kind of wants to settle down a little bit as opposed to what he used to do. And Grace and him are very similar in certain ways where they can kill somebody and then just kind of switch off. Um, when they're with the people that they truly love, even though she says, like her father said, she's never really lo truly loved anybody in her life. Um, <clears throat> and that's what makes her good at, I guess, her job of killing. <clears throat> now, I'm not really sure. She was a black swan. So I'm not really sure how, like, uh, I guess, like, secret that really would be. I guess maybe she was kind of, like, underground trained and obviously SAS soldiers... We know have a very serious um, training regiment when it comes to what they have to go through just to be on that type of team because they're now what does SAS stand for? I'm gonna actually have to look that up because that's gonna bug me if I don't. So SAS uh, SAS soldier, yeah. What were they? <clears throat> wow. Oh, the Special Air Service. Okay. But yeah. Um, the SAS was created during the Second World War. Okay. When small bands of soldiers were dropped behind enemy lines. Okay, so they were... Yeah, they were basically like... Kind of like the undercover guys that nobody really knew about. And they would be dropped in, obviously. And they would be highly... Hi, yeah, highly trained men or women. Um... Probably mostly men back then, obviously, if we're talking about 
what World War What did it say? Yeah, the World War II. I would say probably mostly men back then, but now I would say men and women could be SAS soldiers for sure. <clears throat> um, so let's just say highly trained men and women uh, who are renowned for their skills in covert surveillance, close combat fighting, and hostage rescue. Okay, so they're kind of like the, yeah, I would say they're like the cleanup crew technically, and definitely the guys that you would send in first before anybody else, so that if their mission goes bad, the second group gets sent in, and then it becomes kind of like a public matter, I suppose. So obviously they are after the... They are after the Lewises. Um, yeah, Tom, Tom Buckingham and his crew of soldiers are after the Lewises, and uh, they help Grace Lewis escape um, because George Clements, who is the owner of the pipeline company, now what was the pipeline company's name? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, so she was, obviously, <clears throat> besides just the pipeline, she was exposing the British government's secrets as well. And I'm trying to think of the name of the pipeline company. It must say somewhere here. I'm assuming it says somewhere here. Man, what was the name of the company? Damn, I wish they I wish they really had that written here somewhere, but anyway, they don't. <clears throat> um, but not really, I guess it's kind of not really the most important thing. So yeah, she was trying to expose the secrets, obviously, of who was up to what and who was killing who for what reasons and so on and so forth. And she definitely did end up exposing all of their secrets in the end. And I guess the new prime minister, I believe who was up in line was part of it as well and she exposed him and he said good luck and the other guy said to him good luck in the runnings now or whatever because obviously all of his secrets had been exposed and now she's blown up this pipeline and yeah everybody's going to know that they what they were doing was obviously dirty uh but the action scenes in this were absolutely incredible um yeah just like absolutely bloody fight scenes and you can kind of definitely feel for the people on the train, obviously, including uh, Tom's wife. Uh, yeah, her... Yeah, Tom's wife was Sophie Hart, right? Yeah, Sophie. And then at the end, uh, when you think it's going to be like a easy kind of like, oh yeah, I'll marry you or whatever, she actually kind of declines in the beginning, and then they get this call at the end of the movie to, I believe, take out... I th think it was his best friend i believe they yeah i believe the one guy calls him yeah george clements calls um tom at the end of the movie to take out uh his best friend but i don't think he was ever yeah i guess he would i guess he was exposed so i'm not really sure why tom would still even want to have anything to do with him seems kind of odd but maybe yeah it just seems like a lot of corruption going on, even to, even at the end of the movie. If that was who who was calling him, I'm pretty sure it was. So that seems kind of odd that he would go after his best friend. But maybe was it his best friend that maybe called him then? I'm yeah, I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure it was Andy Serkis's character that calls him Tom at the end of the movie, and she goes, "Go put him down," or yeah, or so, and his wife says that to him to yeah go take him out or whatever yeah but i don't know why he would go after his best friend because his best friend seemed like he was kind of forced to do what he was doing because i guess he would be at the bottom of the corrupt line and i guess he had made a deal with grace as well too right to give her safe passage off of the train after she had done everything she was doing and unfortunately her brother ends up dying in the process too as <laughs> well as a lot of other people that this uh that Tom ends up being able to take out. So, uh, but yeah, this was a great, a really great action movie. Um, I'm not really sure who would have, whether they did their own stunts or not, but it almost looked like some of, some, some of the people might've been doing their own stunts. Um, maybe, maybe the main actor, Tom, I think might've done some of his own stunts, but yeah, 
think I may have to go watch this movie again just to remember who was calling him because yeah, it seemed that it seemed that Andy Serkis' character George was sent in to kill Grace and then it turned out that he was the one who had made the deal with her in the beginning anyway about the village and so it seemed like they were buddy buddy on the train but maybe they weren't because she did threaten to kill him but I mean I guess mostly because he was corrupt as well but I mean Grace was the bad guy in the end because she was yeah a criminal at this point so she was kind of a terrorist so I was really rooting for Tom the entire movie I mean, I guess Grace was also doing what she was doing for her own reasons. Well, obviously, because they killed her father, um, and so on and so forth, and she wanted to expose. So I guess maybe she wasn't necessarily the worst person in the world, but obviously the lengths she was going to to uh, do what she was doing was wrong, right? She would be considered a terrorist. So yeah, you're not really rooting for her in this movie, necessarily. Um, yeah, I would say Tom was the good guy in this one, and yeah, root, root for him. <laughs> or most people would probably be rooting for him to win and hopefully get his wife off the train, and yeah. Uh, anyway, I give this movie an 8 out of 10, because that's what I thought it deserved, and it got a 5.2 out of 10, but that's only 18,000 people, so this movie wasn't nearly as popular as The Happy Time Murders, which was the last one I reviewed, but still a good movie. I would say kind of almost maybe a hidden gem on Netflix as well, kind of similar to the Finding You movie that I reviewed. And yeah, I think that's about it, and I will see you guys in the next review. Bye-bye for now.